What's up everybody, I'm Sean Dales and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about something that goes hand in hand with the things we've been talking about and I pretty much want to get right into it man because I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, something I've been thinking about all day. Uh, something actually I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks and on and off over years. Motivation man. Like I talk to people all day long, right? I talk to all kinds of people. I talk to kids, women, men, young, old, doesn't matter. And I run into the same dilemma with all of them. And that's the fact that a lot of them are scared to start the journey, right? A lot of them are worried about this, that, and the third starting the journey. What they don't realize is that there's 20 million steps in the journey. So taking that one step isn't going to put you behind, right? But see, these people get you scared and they get caught up in this mindset that it's too hard, they can't do it, and they psych themselves out. You could do anything you set your mind to. You could do whatever it is that you want to do. You know, if you want to be an entrepreneur, uh, if you want to be a musician, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a, a, a manager at McDonald's, whatever, do what you got to do every single day. Start the path. Start with the first step. If you want to be an entrepreneur, go get your business license. Go create a website, right? There's so many uh, there's so many websites out there now that allow you to get started making a website with little money, right? Now, I understand money is hard to come by at times. I've got like five jobs, like real, like real, real talk, right? I've got like five jobs. Like I've got income coming in for so many different streams. And unfortunately it's not self-sufficient yet, right? However, it's income, it's money, right? So that I can sit here and I can put money into where I want to put it in so I can set my future up the way I want my future to be. I want to sell things and buy things on eBay and Craigslist to make a profit. I just bought this Nikon yesterday, Nikon D90. Bought it for 120 bucks, camera body only. These things are going on eBay for $200, easily. You could do whatever it is you wanna do. I wanna be an entrepreneur. I wanna be able to talk to people and give them advice and wisdom um, and understanding that I've gained through my years of doing all kinds of business. Um, I wanna give them information and, and be able to help them to succeed, right? My father taught me something from a very young age and that was the definition of success. His definition is something that, that I believe is the definition is when success is when preparation meets opportunity, right? Now, some people will sit here and say Mark Cuban and uh, uh, Zuckerberg and all these, all these rich people, they're lucky, they're lucky, they just kind of fell into it, right? That's bull crap and I'll tell you why it's bull crap because they were prepared for the opportunity. Now the opportunity may have fell in somebody's lap. The opportunity may fall right on my lap, but if I'm not prepared for it, the, the opportunity is gonna hop into someone else's lap. And so I keep hopping until it lands in someone that's prepared. Here's a scenario for you. What happens if your boy comes to you today and says, hey man, I really need to borrow a thousand dollars. I'm trying to get this app uh, that I have that I've been building. I'm trying to get it get it registered and licensed or however it goes. I'm trying to get it into the app store and I need to borrow a thousand dollars from you. I need for you to invest a thousand dollars into my in, into my dream, into my company, into my app, into what I'm doing, and in return I'll give you thirty percent. Cool, right? That's an opportunity. But are you prepared? Do you have a thousand dollars in spare money laying around for you to be able to invest in this company? Because say this company blows up real quick overnight, he decides to sell it for a thousand for or excuse me for a million dollars. That's three hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. But you got to come up with that thousand dollars. That's what being prepared is. Being prepared is doing your homework. It's showing up when the opportunity arises. That's being prepared. Opportunities jump into your laps every single day. That fleeting thought in your mind of, man, you know, this would be a great idea. That's an opportunity. But are you prepared? Being prepared is do you have the mindset to go to go look it up, to do the research, to make sure that this idea hasn't been done and follow through on. Now that's a mindset though. That has nothing to do with money. That's a mindset. You have to be mentally prepared to be able to do it. You have to be prepared to take that first step into doing what you need to do to pursue the opportunity that's in your lap now. Let's say you're a musician and you're down, you're down in Nashville and you just happen to run into somebody, you run into some manager, right? Some manager you've read about and you've always admired, you've always admired what he what he's done with his clients, right? And he says, hey man, uh, why don't you play me something real quick? I'd love to hear something. Or why don't you why don't you go ahead? You got something on your phone, and you ain't got your own music on your phone. No, it was an opportunity for you, but you didn't. You weren't prepared for it. You got to be prepared for every situation. My father always taught me to carry a pen. 
The reason why, son, you never know when someone's going to want to write you a check. That's the truth. I've had money come in from so many different ways, out of nowhere. Like, money I forgot about, those lawsuits, the giant lawsuits that companies go through. They'll send me a check or, you know, the VA will send me a check because they screwed up somewhere. And, you know, now, I got, now I'm getting money from here or um, whatever. You never know when the opportunity is going to arise. So why not be prepared for every single opportunity, right? If you're a musician, carry your music with you. If you're a musician, have samples ready at the go at any given point. Y'all got to show up, man. Y'all got to stop sitting here talking all this bull crap about what you're going to do and start doing it. Because at the end of the day, all that talk is nothing but talk, right? What makes you think that if God ain't going to give you something that you ain't ready for, that somebody else that's got money is going to give you money or give you an opportunity if you ain't ready for it? If God ain't going to do that, right? That's insane to me. The fact that you think or anybody thinks that they can just, that something's just going to get handed to them. That's not how it works. Unfortunately, it's not. Now, some of, some of us may be more well off than others um, or may have more opportunities arise, but those opportunities don't mean anything. Like I said before, those opportunities are, are, are pointless. When you start valuing your time, you'll start to see all the little things in your life that, that don't mean anything. You'll start to cut those out because they don't mean anything. Because you could be doing other things with, the, with that time while doing those things, right? You could be working on your business. They, you could be writing new songs. You could be working on your craft, doing whatever. Do your craft, bro. Do what you got to do. Do your craft. Do your craft. Don't sit here and make excuses because you didn't have time to do this or you didn't have time to do that. Make the time. There's 168 hours. Let me be positive here. I'm pretty dang sure. 168 hours in the week, right? But y'all sitting there sleeping on yourselves. Wake up and recognize your potential. Wake up and do what you need to do to achieve and activate that potential, right? Because that potential don't mean crap. That potential is what? Potential energy? Use it and be kinetic. Be kinetic in everything you do. Be kinetic. Don't sit here and talk all this game because all this game don't mean anything without action. That action is what makes you. That action is what drives you. That action helps you with your own internal motivation. Because when you see yourself starting to do better things and you see yourself uh, on the path to success or whatever your success is, you're going to want to keep pushing. You're going to want to keep doing it. That's why people in the gym can sit there and get big as can be and want to continue to work out and continue to get bigger because they see the path that they're on. That's why companies continue to grow, because they see the path that they're on. But y'all stop dead in your tracks when you go to a job, clock in, hit your 40 hours. Then y'all go uh, to clubbing. For the, then y'all go out and y'all want to go on vacations on the weekend. Then y'all want to go out and y'all live for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and dread Sunday night because Monday you got to get up. To me, that's insane. If you really want to do so, you really want to work on your craft, that Saturday and Sunday is going to be spent working on your craft. It's not going to be spent doing uh, relaxing. It's not going to be spent sitting there uh, thinking about Monday, your job on Monday. Your job on Monday should be nothing more than a means to get to your own destination. All these people, all these all these multimillionaires and billionaires out there, do you think that they got there working for somebody else? No. What they did was they created a position. They created a position and they filled that position and put themselves into it. And they were able to build their name, their brand, their company, whatever, into whatever it is they want to build it into because they put themselves in it. Fully immersed. That's what they did. They didn't sit there and say, hey, man, you know what? I need mom. Can can you be my manager? I really need you to keep me on track. No, they kept themselves on track. They did what they needed to do to get to where they need to be. They became their own boss the moment that they did that. It doesn't matter if they're still working for another company or not. They became their own boss. Now, a lot of y'all want to be your own bosses. I don't want to work for nobody and blah, blah, blah. Then why don't you create your own position? Use your craft to do that. No matter what your craft is. No matter what your craft is, use your craft. Use it to your advantage. Push it. Figure out who you are, what you want to be, where you want to be, and how that all aligns. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have those three things figured out, you're going to be lost. And instead of being lost wandering around, missing opportunities, you could be on a direct path to success. I'm just being real with you guys. Like, I don't talk to a lot of people. I really have. I've done discuss this with a lot of people. Um, I've mentored a lot of people. I've had a lot of people mentor me. It takes a lot to recognize your weaknesses. It takes a whole bunch to really buckle down and say, what are my weaknesses? And really admit it to yourself, right? But the moment you do that, those weaknesses become strengths. Because at that point, from that point on, it's in the back of your mind. Man, I'm really not that good with staying within a budget. So now what are you going to do? You're going to stay in that budget 
as much as possible because it's in the forefront of your mind every two seconds. But you have to be willing to recognize your weaknesses and recognize what you can work on. Otherwise, you're going to be in disarray. So do what you need to do to get there. Start. Start today. Start yesterday. Start tomorrow. Start. Start today. Thursday is going to be the 27th, April 27th. Start in any way possible. Big, small, it doesn't matter. Just do it because at the end of the day, no one's going to do that for you. You have to go out and get it. No one's going to file that business license for you, right? No one's going to give you money just to be giving you money for your business, right? You got to be able to sell yourself. So when you go to go ask somebody for money for your business, you got to be able to say, hey, look, this is what I do. This is my craft. This is what you're buying. Because essentially what you're doing, someone invests money in you, they're buying. They're buying into what you do, what you sell, what you create. That's what they do. Give them something to say, yeah, I'm glad I invested my money in that. Even if you ain't make, even if you ain't making no money yet. Even if they haven't got a return yet on their investment. Make them think this is the next big thing. I'm in, all in, I'm with you, I'm gonna help you. We're gonna get there together, right? That's what I'm here for. I want you to get somewhere. I want you to get to where you wanna be. And I'm here to do it with you. Just the same as I hope that all y'all are here to do it with me. Because I'm on a journey myself. I'm trying to do things for me too. I'm creating positions every single day for my for myself to fill. And some people will look at me and I've got people tell me, man, you're doing too much, you're doing too much. But guess what? The same people that have been telling me that, they don't have anything to their name. They have nothing uh, of value to add. Now, maybe they have some wisdom, that's cool. Wisdom comes from experience. Wisdom comes from knowing because you did it yourself, whether you succeeded or you failed. That's where wisdom comes from. So for someone to come to me and say, hey, look, uh, you shouldn't, you're doing too much. You're going to burn yourself out. Cool. When's the last time you did that? Did you burn yourself out at some point? Well, no, I never did that. So then why are you talking to me about this? Unless you're going to add something to help me. I don't need to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because for me, I'm on the path that I need to be. For me, I'm doing what's necessary for myself to get to where I want to be. Right? That's what, that's what I do. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating not only a brand, not only a business, not only products, not only services. I'm creating me. And I can't let nobody else create me besides God. <laughs> let me not forget about him. He's the only one that's going to create me. Outside of that, ain't no one else going to create me. I do for me. I do for what I need to do. I get to where I want to be because I want to be, I want to be wealthy. I don't want to be rich. Rich is all about money and cars and jewels and watches and whatever right vacations that's cool i ain't real i ain't with that i want wealth i want something that's gonna last i want a legacy just like uh gary v says i can't pronounce his last name so i'm not gonna say his last name <laughs> but gary v he wants to build a legacy that's what i want money's great i like money i want things of course i want a, a nissan gtr of course i want a black series amg mercedes of course i want a ferrari of course i want uh, one of these ridiculous houses out here in Nashville. That all comes in time though. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about getting my feet off the ground. I'm worried I'm worried about floating so high above everybody else that eventually I'm gonna catch up to what I know I can do. Because that's what it's all about. If I know I can amount to this up here, but I'm down here right now, eventually I'm gonna get here. And eventually I'm gonna push past that and I'm gonna right, keep raising the bar for myself. That's what I want. That's what I want for me. I want a legacy. I wanna leave behind something for my kids, my kids' kids. I wanna leave behind my name, my family's name, where they know, damn, you a Daniel? You know, who's your dad? Who's your grandfather? I want, I want my kids' lives to be filled so much because of what I did. Now I want them to work for their own, and I want them to get to a level of success that they wanna to get to too, but I wanna, I want to have that position. I want them to be in an opportunity right from the jump. So all they have to do is prepare. That's it, everybody. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching the video. I love making this kind of content. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't like, like it, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I said in the video, please leave a comment. I'll comment back or leave a, a video response. Um, if you like the video enough to want to share it, feel free to share it. Social media, whatever, Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, I don't care. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to spread a little bit of knowledge that I have uh, and that I've learned through my failures and, uh, and successes. So that's it. I appreciate it. And remember, guys, be kinetic.